Hello, everybody. It's the Watchman here again. Just a reminder, you're listening to 91.7 The Edge Whitewater WSUW, and it's me, Drake. And Riley here, back with some more Watchman action. Just apologize in advance if I sound congested. It's because I am. <laughs> Just a disclaimer. Um, so Drake and I tried to see The Lighthouse and Jojo Rabbit to discover that Originally, I had looked, and Fandango said the lighthouse was playing at a theater that was near us. So we were going to go see it, and then all of a sudden we go look again, and I guess the showtime was fictitious, and it didn't exist. Well, it was, I think you were just looking. No, I looked at the right time and the right day, and. No, I um, bet you were looking, I bet you thought you were, but I bet you thought, no. It was AMC Madison. I bet you thought you were looking. You're for next weekend, you're looking no. at next weekend's date because it is going to be their next weekend. I never screw up getting tickets or looking at You've tickets. You've never at screwed no. up getting tickets. No, never. Before. Not once. Never. I'm going to call your mom after this. Oh, okay. My and mom, ask. Yeah, my mom's going to know yes. every time. She I, will somehow know. Somehow she's going to know. Yes. I don't believe you've never screwed up once. I've never screwed up getting any tickets. Never. No. Look I'm not, me straight I'm in not the a fool. eye. I love and getting tick- I love going to a movie. Therefore, I'm going to get the tickets. Correctly, no. know the right show time. Every Things time. you can screw up sometimes. Nope, I promise. never. All right, so here's the thing. See, we looked for it. It wasn't. It was listed for a little bit, and then all of a sudden, it wasn't there. Well, it was a sad. It day. is playing next weekend. It so. is playing. So obviously, that was. It's so that's what you release. were looking at. No, I was not nah, looking at it, Drake. I swear to God, I was you looking are. at it for this Saturday. No, because my Saturday. dad looked too, and he didn't see. Yeah, it Yes, because he didn't look on Fandango. Oh, that's well, where I looked. He didn't find it, but you somehow found it. But That's because later it was there, gone. So you got to listen. He here. looked when you this looked. Is dumb. He looked before. This is dumb. You did. I never screwed this up. Sorry, you screwed. I it never up. screwed up. It's the only okay. thing that screwed up is Fandango. You can admit it. No, uh, it's this, okay. is, this is really annoying. I'm I'm really irritated right now. It's okay. You can't see my face, but I'm red in the face, and it's I'm about okay. to hit him in the face. It's okay. Here. That's enough out of you. Okay, so we were also and then we we're also <laughs> trying to see Jojo Rabbit, which was also in a. Heavily limited release for yeah, no apparent I don't reason. even know if that's going to be around here. What? Maybe. Maybe one day. Well, I looked, <laughs> and the only place slightly nearby was in Chicago, which is Chica- clearly we're There's not this theater in Chicago that gets everything. That's really annoying. If there's a movie I really want to see, maybe I'll drive two hours, but I that's doubt why, it. That's why I miss Sundance in Madison. Yeah, Sundance would show is perfect. All the a lot of independent films. And it wasn't like Jojo Rabbit was presented as a truly completely independent film because it has the support and Taika Waititi has been sort of leveled up to that yeah. pretty bigger level now and and then who was it? It was Scarlett Johansson's in the movie. Scarlett Johansson. Sam Rockwell and then Taika is a character is playing Hitler and himself. And those little kids can't forget about them. Yeah, but they're not famous. Yeah, I have no idea who they are. <laughs> yeah, well, nobody knows. But I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? Like, it has a pretty yeah, solid I don't know cast why. and a popular director and for it to be in a limited release is bizarre they to me. They just hate Wisconsin. It's the only explanation. Um, well, we, were, we wanted to see them. Hopefully, maybe we, you and I can get a chance to see Lighthouse this uh, weekend. But I'm going to see it. Depends on... I don't know about you. I'm seeing it. All right. And uh, Drake and I had an idea to talk about some... Uh, we want to talk about the Batman movie. That's not. I mean, yes. obviously, it's not going to come out for another year and a half or so, but him and I both... Like, like that's. I think that's the only superhero you really, not only really can, like, can yeah. uh, stand, but actually really like. Yeah, I really like Batman. I do. I like the Batman yeah, movies a lot. He's my favorite. My favorite overall. Um, well, did you ever watch any of the animated series when you were a kid? No, not no. really. No. It was always pretty. I mean, good. sometimes when it was, I'd, if I'd see it on, but it wasn't like. They're they're. I was a Nickelodeon kid. Their... I know yeah, you that's... like Cartoon Network. Oh, but... I watched a ton of Cartoon Network. Cartoon and that. Mm, Excuse me? Cartoon <laughs> Network was... It had some good shows, but it was really dumb for the most part. Like, Ed, Ed and it Eddie. It was darker, though. Horrible. It was a little... I loved Mandy, Grim Adventures. Yeah. Okay. And I really liked Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, yeah? A lot. Yeah, I like that one, too. That's but... creepy. That, that show always creeped me out. <laughs> That's oh, yeah, my that impression. Him, him. Yeah, That's when pretty he gets good. Scared. <laughs> That's pretty good. Thank you. First, I'm gonna be honest. The, the, the <laughs> beginning, the minute you started doing it, I didn't know what you were doing until I was like, oh. And then, like t- the next second, I was like, oh yeah, he's doing courage. <laughs> um, man, yeah, I missed that show. That show was pretty good. But I think Cartoon Network was meta, Drake. That's what I think because they had Adult Swim, which would be on afterwards later in the evening. Well, uh, I think Cartoon Network's too meta for. 
for to all the other meta. What is that? Meta. What are, yeah. I, what are you like? It's what too, are you even using? It's that? too advanced. Like it's it's beyond. <laughs> it pushes beyond the, sc- the original scope of what is a kids uh, show. Well, Adult also, Swim it, wasn't even supposed also to be kids. It had, it had they co- also had Nick at Night with the Georgia Lopez show. <laughs> oh, George! I did like the Georgia yeah. Lopez show. Um, but also, they had on Cartoon Network. They had Star Wars, Clone Wars, Clone Wars. <laughs> no, Sleeping. I'm going even... to sleep now. All right. Good night. Um, all right. We won't talk about anything Star Wars. Okay. Back. Back to the Batman. Okay. So Batman. Well, first, you never watch any of the animated stuff, right? No. And first, then... you and I have a discrepancy. Oh, uh, what? What's this discrepancy? You think that the Dark Knight Rises is better than the Dark Knight? Yes. As an Which overall film, yes. Is wrong. Okay. I like the Dark what, Knight. What's, what's your? Oh, they're both. They're beautiful. They're two of my favorite movies. I like movies the Dark Knight time. Rises a lot, but, but I just it's not I better than the Dark Knight. I just Knight. like Dark Knight Rises slightly more than Dark Knight. I like the Joker as a villain much better than Bane. That's <laughs> not. Oh, of course, I agree with you. I agree with you. It like he's he's the best villain, obviously, amongst the three movies of Batman Begins, Dark Knight, and Dark Knight Rises. That's a given. Overall, the whole performances by all the characters. The plot itself and the construction of everything, even like all like the a lot of the themes of how like um, and like just like, the acknowledgement of the symbol of the Batman in general, how everyone acknowledges him not just as a as a man but the symbol that he really is, and it's all about the pursuit of truth and stuff in that movie. I just I don't know. I I just really like I love the his um uh remember when Wayne remember when Batman gets tossed in the pit the 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 pit prison which is where Bane used to be. Yes. And then he climbs his way out. Like, it's just so ins- inspiring. I thought it was so cool. It's so cool. Yes. Had a boy Bruce. Had a boy Bruce. Woo! I don't know. I just I just found myself, like, God, Dark Knight is so good. Obviously. Even Batman Begins is great. Yeah. It's, you can tell. It's not that, as good as the other two. No, but. it's not, but it's still great. Like, all three of them, very good. But, yeah, for me, just Dark Knight Rises just stands slightly above. Ever so, like, seriously, it really is. Ever so slightly above Dark Knight for me. But, man, they're both so good. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so you have the Batman movie. It's kind of weird. I mean, it's a, it's a good... T- I mean, that's the title. But, like, if you're referring to it, like, to the actual movie that's coming out in 2021, like, when you're trying to refer to it to somebody, it's kind of... When you say, oh, yeah, the Batman movie, you're just like, what are you talking about? Which Batman Which movie are you talking one? about? So that's why the the title could throw people off. But it sounds like this this movie itself is going to be a lot more invested in uh, a little bit closer to the comic book roots of Batman himself. Because Dark Knight trilogy is much more of a a real world look of how a Batman could exist in like a modern sh- Chicago slash New York esque type city. You know what I mean? And, so I mean, it's not completely realistic. A resurgence of Michael Keaton Batman. No, no, no. That that's different. That that's still comic booky. But even that is sort of a break off of that on its own. That's a little. That's definitely. That's definitely unique. The two. So the the Michael Keaton stuff, and then the Dark Knight trilogy are all on their own very different. But I don't think we've ever really had um, a Batman who is what if like what's his? Um, do you know what his uh, yeah, famous one. subtitle for him would be? Would be like the the um, the detective. What, what are you saying? He's like a detective. That, that a like vigilante. Um, no, Drake. I'm I don't know what about, you're saying. Like in in the comic, in some of the comics, he's like a um, private investigator. No, like he's just the, he's like the world's greatest detective. That's that's Sherlock Holmes. No, you're not listening to me. You're just I'm being, listening. You're being poisonous to the watcher right now. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways. I'm talking about, like, the world's greatest detective is, like, a title, sort of, that would be kind of given to him in some of, like, the comics is how he would... It's more about of a grounded noir more approach to him solving the issue of, like, some sort of problem that's going on in Gotham, it, where it's a little bit more noir-based, you know what I mean? So that's what I would hope for this movie, is to be a little bit more noir-feeling and a little bit more... I mean, obviously, Dark Knight trilogy is grounded, but this one would be a little bit more... I would say a little bit more, not cartoony, but comic booky. A, no, a more noir, comic book faced Batman. I think is something we obviously haven't had, and I think I would, I think would be pretty. We good. We got to bring Ben Affleck back. <laughs> you joking? Yeah, he um, wasn't awful, but he's just I'm not good. Disappointed that Jonah Hill dropped out 
So I would have loved I to guess. see him as the Penguin, Paul yeah. Dano as the Riddler, and, Paul Dano and what's Riddler, his name yeah. as the Joker, all to, in one movie. In Joaquin, my eyeballs would burst. I, That'd I, be incredible. I, know, I know we talked about this when we reviewed Joker, but I really well. Did I don't you know. See, it's probably not. I, he seems open to wanting to play the Joker to. again. Did you see that? He well, to playing about the Joker it. again, not necessarily playing yeah. him within the Batman movie. Well, you know what but I mean? still, he wants I would to come back, to see which him. is a good I, sign. That is a good sign. I agree. Listen. And I Come think, back, we'll have you. Open I think, arms. Because Warner Brothers sounds like what they're trying to do with this The Batman movie. The, it's it's directed by Matt Reeves and also written by Matt Reeves as well. Is that um, he was the guy, Drake, that directed Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and then War for the Planet of the Apes. Do you, you remember those? You like those too. Yeah, they're fine. Not, he didn't direct Rise of the Planet of the Apes, not the one with James Franco, but the other two. My favorite one by far was the first one. Rise was your favorite? Yeah. Not Dawn? No. Uh, Dawn was my favorite. Rise. Of those three. For sure. Okay. I mean, they're both... All three... War, uh, well, War is a little a little shaky. But I definitely like Dawn. Anyways. Um, anyway, so he, yeah, he was, he's directing and was, has been writing this movie for, like, forever. And um, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about just before I was discussing the, the director himself? I have no idea. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. Oh yeah, no, no, sorry. I have no, idea. no, they were there. Um, what I was gonna say is that um, Warner Brothers sounds like they plan to do a trilogy with Matt Reeves directing. I don't know. I'm not sure if he's directing, but at least him writing with Robert Pattinson. Okay. So pr- like a trilogy with Robert Pattinson, which I think would be cool. More, I like Batman. More Batman. Not yeah. Ben Affleck murdering people with his tank, his uh, Batmobile tank. I didn't. Do you remember when he's? Dug- I didn't even see it. I know you didn't see it, but so, in Batman vs Superman, I don't Drake, remember it. He no. just turns into a into a serial murderer. He's in his he's in his Batmobile tank, and he's he's trying to get a um, a big ball of kryptonite. I thought he didn't to make kill a, anyone ever. Exactly. So he's trying <laughs> to go. Um, Lex Luthor's thugs stole like a giant ball of kryptonite that they that he's going to use probably to kill Superman or whatever. But Batman wants it so he can counter Superman himself and even ki- maybe kill him. If Man Man needs to. And Batman's awful motivations. Anyway, so he, he's chasing down this convoy, um, Lex Luthor's convoy, and he starts, he literally plows through trucks and th- that explode with people in them. Yeah. And he's killing people. And literally, it's, it's insane. He gets out missiles and he's got a giant machine gun on the top and he's blowing up everything. I'm like, what's happening? You're just so, you're just in shock. I and have then, not seen those movies. And then later, Drake, there's another fight scene where he's fighting a group of thugs that are that have taken Superman's mom. And so he goes in to go kill them. Literally, that's what he does. He shows up. He disarms some of them. Then he, uh, in the fight, he grabs the guy's gun, and he's shooting around, shooting the guys. And I'm like, what am I watching? This is not when Batman. When are they going to make a Man Bat movie? You do know who Man Bat is, right? Yeah, remember when he popped up in Arkham? In Arkham City, in the Arkham Do you games, that? yeah, yeah, the Man yeah. Bat. When you yeah, run up a... the thing and then he jump scared the crap out of you. I oh, mean Arkham, Ar- the newest. You one. just said Arkham Knight. You mean Arkham Knight, right? I think you said Arkham City. I didn't. I, I just said the Arkham games. Yeah, yeah. The newest yeah. one, yeah. In Arkham Knight, he does. He does show up. He, yeah, he shows up. Were you? Were you watch? Was I playing it or something? And you? Were... I played that game. Oh, I don't think you definitely didn't finish that game. No. But anyways, when are they going to make a Man Bat movie? They're not going to make a That's man- what we all want to see. Uh, okay. What's Man, that? Bat, and the Catwoman team up. That's enough. What are you talking about? <laughs> Batwoman. That Bat is... Catwoman. All right, Drake. Drake needs to stop. Revenge of a. Say no more. All right, I'm That's done. Enough. Thank you, Drake, for your. Movies. Anyways, oh, I... so have yeah, they movie... even really revealed a plot for it? So there's a rumor that it's based on. Let me pull the... up IMDb. No, here, here, at it. here. So Drake. So the rumor is that it's based on the Long Halloween comment. To comment. Comic. From Batman, which is a much more of a detective um, thriller. Drake, wait, Drake. I don't want you to look at the cast because I want to. I want to tell you the cast. Well, I just looked. No, so. no, 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 no. Cover your eyes. So, well, don't, the audience, so. well, you can spoil it for them. But okay. Well, before you don't go then. But I'm saying the movie itself is going to possibly be on a long Halloween, which is very Riddler. This based. guy directed the Clo- Cloverfield. Yeah, All the right. first Cloverfield. All yeah. Right. I'm on board for this movie now. But yeah, Drake. Anyways, this story would sound, it's a lot more noir, detective based. That's why I think, that's what I would hope for this movie. And like I said, it's a lot. It involves a lot of his rogues gallery, so a lot of his villains would be in the movie. 
I think pl- pl- plowing. What's my t- piling Excuse in? Me? I think piling in too many <laughs> of his rogues gallery villains. I feel like would be too much. You know what I mean? Like yeah. a little much, but there's definitely going to be some of his main villains in this movie. So Riddler being Paul Dano. Hopefully that's who he's playing. I see someone good. else. And then so yeah, Drake. The, another person that's in the cast is uh, Zoe Kravitz is going to be playing Catwoman. Yeah. In the movie, I am looking at that, and I think they'll they'll be interesting. I'm I'm fine. I, I have no issues with any. I don't have any issues with any of the casting. And then Jeffrey Wright, who I like a lot, he's in Westworld. Oh, I know. He's also you love very that show. briefly in Ooh, Westworld. That's I'm rushing at you. When Westworld what comes I on, Ooh, Westworld. I have a really high pitched voice. Yeah, you just really like Westworld a lot. It is pretty good. It's too much for you. You're, it's, you're not old enough. To um, but Jeffrey Wright is playing Commissioner Gordon. I really I like, like the, the Paul Dano casting. I do. Been, I, I do like. That. I've been saying for a long time that he. I wish he was in more stuff because he's really yeah. good. I could see him playing the Riddler because you know the Riddler's obviously has. Yeah, I he's not mentally all there, it. but he's also shows his own intelligence. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I feel like he could choice. play that sort of. Off-putting type of persona. I think it's a great choice. And then obviously Robert Pattinson's great. You know, this is a solid, solid cast they got thus far. I like the Jeffrey director Wright, too. Good director Zoe Kravitz, which I'm fine with. I can't really think of anything that I really like that she's in. I can't even remember. She, I think she's briefly. Is she in Hunger Games a little bit? Like in like the Ooh. later ones or something. Not that I remember. Well, I never watched. Wrong, I never watched the last two movies of, of those movies. Um, what else is she in? Man, I'm pretty sure she's like the stepdaughter of Jason Momoa, because I'm pretty sure Drake Jason Momoa married her mom. Talking about people marrying people. What? This is totally off topic, but did you see? Um, what? Oh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Dennis Quaid's new wife. Dennis Quaid's new wife? Yes. Why? He just got engaged. He's 57. Hold on, He don't. just got engaged to okay. a 26-year-old. Oh, gosh. She's younger than his son. Dennis Quaid, is, he's a strange Dennis dude. Quaid, bro. He's definitely lost his, uh, uh, his uh, thunder. He definitely is no longer an A-list. He's just kind of there for the meme. Let's see what sh- she looks like here. Oh, my. Well, he's an actor. He's a... F- I'm assuming he's still pretty wealthy, so maybe... I don't know. Come on. What? Don't assume. Uh, <laughs> okay, I guess I can't. You Come know, on. one movie that sticks out to me when I was a kid that he was in was that Thunderbolts movie. Did you ever see that? One movie? Thunderbolts. They, they're like these jet pilots. I have fly. never heard of that movie in my life. It's like a family, uh, and they fly these high-powered jets... And they're I've superheroes and jets. Look it up. Sky High? Yeah, Sky High. Classic, classic movie. I love that movie. Um, I got... I, I love Sky High. And I love... Uh, what? What's another one? I can't remember, I remember what when, I was going to say. We I lost every... Remember Aging Cody Banks? Yeah, how we watched the second one. Oh, actually, the first one. Oh, we watched the first one? It's yeah, so yeah. bad. It's very bad. It's very, The second one's where he, where he goes to London. It's really bad. I'm pretty sure they have the... What's the song? Every time a movie goes to London... London calling the world. <laughs> they play that song every time. What? Okay. Oi, Drake, what's another What's another type of thing that does that? Um, the uh, Boston one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time we get a transition... Um, to Boston, or mo- characters go to Boston, or if the movie just takes place in Boston, and there's a little bit more of an upbeat moment, yes. you'll hear that song play. What's I that could... song? Can you look up that song for me? Yeah, I'll find it. One sec. Um, but, yeah, personally, though, I still, I really like that Batman, the Batman lineup so far. All I want, I just want more Batman, good Batman movies. It's all I want. I want everything good you could possibly get. He's just, he's so cool. He's so, he's easily the best 
superhero you could ever I gotta find lay your eyes oh, upon. Oh, it's so warm in here. It is very warm. Let me find this song. Um, what, were, what were we looking up again? Man, I keep losing my. What's wrong with me? I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting here everything we go. we're doing. I found it. Yeah, what is it? Only, I'll get the ad. Well, I'll let the ad play. One sec. Don't let that ad. I don't want to hear the ad. You don't have YouTube Red? I know. Uh, 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 you and I perform uh, 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 the song. Uh, 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 it's called "I'm Shipping Up to Boston" by the Dropkick Murphys. I would not have remembered that name at all. Call it in the afternoon. Yeah, play that song too, really quick. Uh, I remember. God, it. there was another. I know it's in Conjuring Two. I know that's one I could think of at the top of my head. And then, uh, man, I don't know. It's in too many. It's actually. You know, I think we didn't we look it up, and it's actually not in that many. Like of like. TV shows and movies that it's in. Yeah, that song. Zombie call it on the out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, man, well. Do you have any other comments, Drake, on the Batman movie? I'm just. It's a long ways out. It's true. But have they even started filming? No, because they're only casting. It's Uh-oh, still in. Oh, that's going to be a while then. That's what I said. That's they why should cast that's why me. If anyone out there yeah. listens to this that's helping work on the Batman, I'm open. <laughs> I'm free, baby. Yeah, I'll put Clear me in. Co- put me in as like a second unit director, like assistant director. I'll, do, I'll be anything. I'll Give be, me in there. You can create a new villain, the Bean Sprout you can be, Boy. You can be Bruce Wayne's dog. Yes, I'll be the Bean Sprout Boy. The oh, new, a new villain. villain? Yeah. The Bean Sprout yes. Boy. Yes. Yes. What, what, so you just wear like a big costume and you sort of I wear a like, big costume and I have lanky bean arms that can stretch and choke people. Idea. Thank you. Do you shoot out peas? Yeah, I'll shoot out peas. <laughs> but yeah, I'm ex- I'm really excited for it. I, I mean, it's, I think it'll be cool. It's going to be a while, but. It will. Obviously, we visually don't have any idea of anything. But based on, hopefully, the concept of the comic book that they're following, I think that could be interesting. I think you would like it especially, too. I, I know, don't, I don't tell me what I'm lo- going to like. I just think you would. I, I know I'm going to like it. I like We Batman know what we're stuff. both going to like. We know what each of us would like. We've had enough experience watching things After all together. these years. After all these years. Um, the Batman. 2021. Long ways out. All right, I know you have some wait. some what? shows. Oh yeah, Watchmen. I know you watched the first episode. Give yep. me your rundown. So yeah, I watched it last night. Um, something about it. I remember the 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 first or the trailer. Something about it just wasn't was slightly off for me. I just couldn't put my finger on it. And then I watched the first episode. Really good. It's super intriguing. Obviously, it's weird. Um, it's but is the, it weird to the point where they're going to make it seem like that one show no, that was on FX? Like, no, it's not like, like <laughs> Legion. Yeah. Legion, the you first season. That. Well, here's the thing. I told the you. first season of Legion was good. The first season was good. And I remember the parts that you had seen me watching was the second season, Drake, with the basket head. They were wearing baskets yeah, on their that head. that was so dumb. That was the second season. Okay, that second season tries way too hard. And they spent whole episodes, Drake, inside of a character's mind. Okay, here's things I hate. Okay, I hate whole entire flashback episodes. I think that's probably my least favorite thing ever to happen to show. <laughs> An entire Sometimes episode. Sometimes it can work, okay. It very it's it's very rare that it works for me. But if you have an entire episode devoted to a backstory, you know, I think it's honestly a lot more interesting when a show or even a movie doesn't use flashbacks personally. I think it would be so much more interesting cuz it can I understand the importance of having flashbacks because a lot of time in like books Drake you know how you kind of have you can hear the character's thoughts you know because because you see their their thoughts are typed out and you know what they're thinking but in a movie or tv show you don't have that but I think that's actually a a interesting hurdle you know to get over to understand characters what about is to just show to show you how that character really is based on the way they interact or like to get understanding for them based on the way Whatever, maybe maybe they actually tell another character, or based on the way they actually interact with others. I think that's more interesting than seeing, oh, here's a flashback where he met this woman that he used to love, and then she died, and that's why he's like what he is. You know what I mean? Now, what about episodes 
that revolve themselves fully around a fly. How dare you? Are you mentioning the one epi- my least favorite yes. episode in TV show history? Worse than the Game of Thrones finale? Okay, no, of course not. What am I talking about? Wow. It was very bad. It's it was, up to the so fly episodes up not, there, though? Here's what we're not going to do. We're not talking about the Game of Thrones finale because I'll just... I'll freak out. All right. I got yes. I want to watch that fly episode. I've every, I, everyone like that's watched the show. It's like a consensus. Whether we're talking about Breaking Bad. Yeah, it's the, just like a, a consensus there's that a big, it's the worst There's this episode. one episode where it felt it feels so much like filler. There are plot moments in the episode, but it's more in the very beginning of the episode and the very end. But so Jesse and Walt are cooking meth obviously because that's the that's the show but they're cooking in their lab and there's a there's a fly that's flying around and they're the whole episode is devoted to them trying to kill the fly or get it out of there so it doesn't contaminate what they're making but it's so stupid sounds so boring it's the most filler thing i've ever seen that's what drake that's what flashback episodes are they're filler nonsense you don't need them you really don't I don't know where I got the flashbacks. Because you're talking about I know Watchmen. About, I know it's talking about Watchmen, but there I've wasn't flashbacks. I have no idea what that has to do with the Watchmen, but man, I went off on a tangent. I don't remember where I came where it came from. I know it was just talking about the Watchmen. So, anyways, the Watchmen's first episode. Uh, like I said, the trailers for me, it looked good. It looked interesting. All I wanted to do was check it out, and I wasn't um, super keen on watching it, but I wanted to watch it. So the show itself, Drake. For your context, because I want you to watch it, I think you, I think you like it. So the context is is that it takes place after the the Watchmen comic books, but it also takes place, which the so the comic book, the end of the comic books, Drake, take place after that movie. So it's not technically a sequel to the movie Drake at all, but the movie itself was very close to the comics. So in a way, if you need a reference, Drake, for some some of the characters is to reference the movie sometimes is if you want to reference shack in it well don't you remember what happens in the end of the watchman the movie yeah okay then that's that's your answer okay also this is like that movie takes place in like uh in the watchman's timeline it takes place in like 1970 something i believe and this one takes place in modern essentially modern times but well i I th- think I've only seen, like, one trailer for it, and I don't even know if I watched it all the way through. And Robert Red, So the thing that happened in that in there is that... So Nixon was president for, like, a long time, and now Robert Redford himself has been president in this America for 30 years. Robert Redford in the show? He's not playing a character. He's playing himself. He's, a, he's What? He is, a, he is the actor. Robert Redford has been the president. That's what I'm saying. Like not not like he's playing. Is he a character. in the show? Well, I I will say not yet, but they reference him. They That's do reference so him. That's so weird. Yeah, his character. <laughs> he's the president Drake currently of America. Anything's possible. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the first episode really good, very intriguing, weird in a good way, and not to like the obnoxiousness and um, uh, a little bit pretentious feeling of Legion. I like that Don Johnson's in it. Yeah, he's pretty good. Don he's good Johnson in the show. from, um, and then Brawl and Cell Block ninety nine. Johnson, are you kidding me? When he gets transferred prisons, he's the main guy. Oh yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the in, in the in the yeah. high level prison, he's the he's the warden. the warden. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. I know. I forgot about him. For a second, I was kind of I was picturing him in a different role, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. He plays the plays the warden. But yeah. so far. You know, to be honest, Drake and I did not get the name, chose choose the name Watchmen out of, from the show or from the movie. It was more just like it fits and it makes sense to us. And I think the title Watchmen Drake in general actually more refers to clocks because, in the sake of the show, because, you know, clocks are a big part of the storylines. Because it's like a watch that you, you, you wear. Know. Yeah, but you don't understand. Uh, you don't uh, understand enough to. Yeah, well, I'll watch the, the show and stuff. But yeah, first episode, really good, intriguing. I'm interested to see where it goes. It definitely sets up an interesting plot. Show that I good finished. mystery. What? Also an HBO show. Um, I finished. Was it a fairly recent show? The Righteous right? Gemstones. Oh, that show's over now. The first season's done. 
it got picked up for a second. Though, I know, thankfully. but I'm saying like the first yeah. season has ended. It was nine episodes. Okay. Um, first couple episodes really good. It drags a little bit for like two episodes because okay. they do have a flashback episode. Oh god! But my favorite character is prominent in the flashback episode, Adam so Devine? I liked it. So huh? Adam Devine? No. Is he your favorite character? The guy. Um, I don't think you've gotten to him yet. The guy from um, Hateful Eight. Oh, Wal- Walton Goggins. Yeah, I love that dude. Um, well, I barely have watched. I've like watched half the. first But anyways, episode. it so there's like two episodes that drag, but then it it gets it picks back up again. I really like it. Okay. I don't like um, what's his name? Goodman. No, what? I love John Goodman. Uh, oh, the main right. guy, Danny McBride. Danny McBride. I usually don't like Danny oh, McBride because he's like, like him at all. he's, he's really like annoying. the same character in everything. But I really like yeah. him in this show. He's really bad. I don't. I really don't like him in Pineapple Express, and I really don't like him. And this is the end. I, think I don't those like two, that movie. But. Well, I'm not a huge fan of it either. But I'm saying I don't like those two specifically. Yeah, I'm not. Though his two his two performances the most I'm not in those two movies. I'm not a fan of him either, but I really liked him in this. Well, the problem with him is that he plays like the same guy in yeah. everything. Even He's in Tropic loud Thunder, obnoxious. when he that's plays his, the demolition that's his guy. Character. Yeah, but that's him. Oh, He's bound and down. I've never I seen the show. I started watching it. Same you started exact watching person. It? Yeah, it's Why? actually kind of funny. It's about baseball. Um, now you're gonna like Danny McBride. Jake, kind of. Jake's like oh, he converted me. Oh. I didn't like Danny, but McBride. he's the same character in that. He's also the same exact person in Vice Principals. And I watched yeah, the first that's episode Walton of Vi- too. Vice Principals because he's in it. Because oh, yeah. I do like Walton it. Goggins. And that show, that show is okay too. But he's just like, you know, I don't hate him, but he's just not. He's the same guy. Walton Goggins shows up randomly in the Tomb Raider remake. The one they did with uh, Alicia Vikander. And he plays a transgender woman in... Um, Which one? A movie. A show or a movie? A show in uh, Sons of Anarchy. Oh, I hate it. I hate that show. Well? I could... I, I Was that AMC or was that FX? I think that was FX. I think um, it was FX. Sons of Anarchy? I don't know. Let me look it I'm up. I'm pretty confident that it's FX. I, I, for some reason, I was thinking AMC for a second, but I, I think it's FX. But that show... I don't know why I really just didn't care for it. It's first season. I think I watched FX, half the first yeah. season. And then... I, oh, yeah, did you, did, you, did you ever hear that one thing about with Sons, or, Son of, Sons of Anarchy? It was the Charlie Hunnam. He had been doing an American accent for so long in it that he, he literally started, started to he'd lose his, um, his British accent. And I think he something like... Even Gary Oldman had something like this where he had oh, to get heard, yeah, voice training that. to get to kind of get back his British accent. Which I find pretty funny, and um, uh, oh, and another show, Drake, that's uh, coming out. I know you don't have any interest in it. I do. I think it looks pretty interesting. It looks a million times better than the awful movie that was made, that had um, Nicole Kidman, if you remember, and Daniel uh, Daniel Craig way back when, the Golden Compass thing, the yeah. his Dark Materials. I can't stand that play. I know I've talked give, to you about give it. Give the show a chance. I'm not. I think going the show to. looks pretty interesting. I'm not gonna. So I hated the play. Don't care. Don't think about the play. Think well, about I, this. I have to because it's the I know, same thing. I know the show's gonna be more <laughs> family oriented, like for an H, like relative for an HBO show. I mean, but I still think it looks pretty pretty interesting, and I'm, I'm, I want to take. a I look. hope you like it, but just don't get your hopes too high. Because if it's anything I, the, like the play, I don't have play, too high hopes. But or if it's anything like the awful movie. That came out way back when. Yeah. That movie was well, really bad. It's the same universe, but it's a lot different than the Golden Compass. It's, it's the it's, same plot. It's its own thing. No, it's Drake, not. Have you not seen the trailer for His Dark Materials? It's the same plot no, as the I Golden Compass. I refuse to watch it. It's the same plot as the Golden Compass. It's just called... I think you're confused. It's, I don't think... Because the plot of it is, Maybe is it the is. plot of the Maybe it is. I don't know. I literally... I was like a fetus when I saw... Uh, the Golden Compass, and I read the play like well, a couple seen years it in ago. So several years either. Yeah, I don't remember. But either way, I don't. I remember not liking it when I was a kid. Well, then, like I said, don't get your. Yeah, but hopes the show up. looks good, though. The show looks a million times better. Although it's sad they just tossed Lin Manuel, Lin Manuel and Miranda and everything. I'm just like, oh, maybe you just sprinkle them in; it'll be successful. Remember What's they, your problem with them? I don't have a problem. Remember they just toss them in every musical type thing you can. He's in uh, Mary Poppins. That's what he does. And then he shows up in Curb. I actually didn't like him in Curb. I did. 
I didn't. He like was him annoying, either. but he's, he's purposely pretty... annoying. I know, but like, I didn't like that. I didn't like the plot of his play. You know what I mean? Him trying to in curb, where Larry's trying to get his the fatwa. Yeah, I don't like the flat, the fatwa overarching plot. I don't think you did either. I did. Don't speak for me. Well, I think I know you more than you. Yeah. Well, we had that one horrible episode of Curb. Yeah, yeah. and that's coming back soon too. Hopefully, I think they. I, I think, I think they're filming day. it. I think they were filming it. Probably. I got. I'm sorry. I sent you that picture because I saw a yeah, picture I on knew the that on that the was fake. I on had the, to look not it fake up. drink. It was from season nine. It, oh like, well, yeah. That's but, that's what it was. Like I, I, someone had posted it on the um, the Curb Your Enthusiasm fan page, and it was like Larry, and it was said something like, "Oh, coming soon," and I'm like, "Oh, Drake, look at this," and it was like posted like, but I, I had like, like a month ago, him and, I had, that, uh, and I had sent olive, him olive like, branch jacket or something. crown. Oh, the crown, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like the Caesar crown. I I said. I thought I've seen this somewhere. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, crap. Yeah, it's from the previous. I'm sorry. I got your um, hopes up for a little bit there. What's that? What? Um, uh, I lost my... Oh, um... Another show? It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. It's back. It's on. It's ongoing currently. Um, what, what season is this? 14? Okay. I think... The, I think it got re- renewed through, like, I've, 16 I've or something. I've watched it all through 11. I have not seen the other... You gotta pick up. Season. You're missing out. I know, but there's nowhere to watch it on. It's yeah. really annoying trying to stream it or, like, find... Uh, I mean, uh, acquire it legally, I'm talking about. Online. But it's... Um, I usually <laughs> like to, to wait until all the episodes are out yeah, and then watch, watch them, them kind of... Yeah, watch them, like, one in a row. I don't really like... Going from week to week and having to wait, it's kind of like, sure. it's not an ideal, just Another, feels longer when I watch them from... I know what you mean. But, yeah, that's but back. I love that show. Here's the thing. I feel like sometimes pe- that can affect people's opinion of a show, depending on how quickly you're able to watch the next episode. Because I remember being, like, really kind of, like, jealous and... I don't know if I was jealous, but I was more, like, mad, like, way back when, way before Game of Thrones was ruined. Uh, Drake, like, my brother had caught up he watched all he, he hadn't seen the last the last two seasons had not been aired yet okay so he catches up on all of them and he's able to get his answers right away one right after the other and um Whoa. i feel like i feel like your opinion of a show can be formed different based on that time not just like the let's say it's someone who's been watching a show live since like a five season show since like live since it first had started, you know what I mean? I think it depends on the type I of show. I feel like that could affect people's. Like if it's sure. if it's like a drama like that where there's cliffhangers, yeah, it's going to be more impactful if you have to have wait a week. Right, right after the but other. if it's like yeah, yeah. if it's like I, a I comedy, just, I, who, I, mean, I just think that there is some sort of effect. I'm not sure. I I think it varies from whether or not it's good to bad, but I do think there is a change whether or not somebody's watching a show live. You know what I mean? To yeah. whether or not somebody's able to watch the episodes one right after the other. For comedies like that, I like just going back to yeah. back to also, back. Also, they're not very cohesive, usually. They're not usually... I mean, sure, they make references to previous episodes. You know what I mean? Or yeah. something from maybe from the previous episode itself. But it's usually pretty minor in terms of chrono- chrono- chronological order. What you know was that word? Chronology. <laughs> chrono- chron- chron- Chronological? Chronological. Chron- chron- Man, you're struggling. Life is chronological. Tough. Yeah, chron chrono. I'm, but I'm saying the ology, like chrono chrono chronology, chronology. What chronological? You I know that it, I know, but it, it being chrono in chronological order. But I'm just trying to say, isn't there? Can't you use it in ology? What would like, like a, what's chrono- an example of a sentence? Like oh, this, um, the show continues. The show continues chronologically. Right, Come on, repeat after me. Right. Chronologically. See you, Drake. I'll be back. Chronologically. See you, Drake. You Can you show? say it? No. Nope. Good luck. Chronologically. All right. So with Riley gone, we're going to talk about top ten reasons Star Wars sucks. All right. I'm back. <laughs> um, I heard bad news of what the Chronologically. Are say that. Yeah, I get it. it. No, Come I'm on. not going to say it. You know. I want you to say it. Chronologically. That's not my there problem. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's right. go, Riley. There's another show coming out soon. Uh, a show coming back is... Uh, Jack Ryan, you haven't seen it from Amazon. It's oh okay. yeah, the one with Jim Halpert. <laughs> yeah, Jim I can't Halpert. take him as a 
I can't well, really I know it's because you and seriously. I didn't like him in uh, A Quiet Place, but he's pretty good in this show, that's for sure. Yeah, it's pretty solid. There's not much else you can say about that show. What about Jack Reacher? Tim Heidecker really liked Jack Reacher. Oh, did he give five bags hey, of guys, popcorn? Five bags of popcorn and probably some cups of soda. Gosh. I'm referencing, by the way, on cinema. <laughs> you got it's so funny. It's just especially uh, Greg. Yeah, Greg Turkington and uh, Tim, Tim Heidecker. It's their movie review show, and it's hilarious. Yeah, man, those guys are great. I wish I could meet Greg right now. What if Greg was a guest here? I. L- that would be insane. I'll message him. I'll message Greg Turkey. He might even All respond because right. he's. I'm going to do that right now, Riley. Take it away. Talk about something before right. I forget. So another show coming out. See, so yeah, I said Jack Ryan was coming out. But then also coming to when Disney Plus is released is going to be the Mandalorian show. Obviously, Drake doesn't care about that. But I think it looks pretty good. Hopefully, it's interesting as long as the characters are strong. That's all I care about more for the Star Wars series. Um, and it sounds like Disney is actually betting a crap load almost everything they have on their streaming service. Like, do yeah, you think they're boistering that the fact that they have like over six hundred? You mean I watched a video the about that? Have? Yeah, oh, okay, and like yeah. they have a lot of good stuff, but then they also have like s- obscure, like weird Disney stuff from like the nineties and eighties that like no one's heard of. I watched the <laughs> yeah. well. There's a, there's a, video a lot of it. crap though that Disney has made before. You know what I mean? Like a lot of like their independent movies. And stuff like like a lot of obscure family movies that nobody remembers are going to be on there. I think it's essentially all their content. And what I'm wondering, Drake, is that do you think uh, Disney Plus itself can maintain and not just an audience, but do you think it can maintain people watching it or like subscribing to it? Like, can it maintain people our age? Do you think? Because no. Disney Plus, well, I would argue, actually, is a little bit... Depending on what the maybe, content they put on there. I mean, kids our age grew up with, like, Disney shows sometimes and, like, Disney movies. So I could see there being an appeal for our age just to go back and watch those. A nostalgic but feel. I think that they'd... Ha- unless they f- figure out some Relative formula, I think they'd, the, yeah. they'd have a hard time luring people in with their new shows. I think people it would be coming for their old make. stuff. Yeah. I feel like the best way maybe Drake for them to go is to truly make original stuff not remakes not reboots and not continuations of um, of uh, different IPs that they are that they've always had so you know what I mean like move beyond Star Wars move beyond um, Marvel move beyond uh, the Disney the basic Disney characters you know what I mean like maybe start creating some more original content like completely original you know what i'm saying like new stories yes. different characters different things and um yeah yeah i don't know i think that although did you see the price that it's gonna be i think it's How like much? seven bucks a month oh, or that's, something that's not too bad that's actually I mean, netflix is going to like 13 or yeah, something oh also yeah, yeah. netflix is gonna they want to crack down on people sharing passwords it makes sense. So they're kind of hurting their business, though. I mean, are they upcharging and now like really cracking down on it? When was the last time they they, they up they up the they charge? Were upcharging like pretty much every year they have been. I mean, uh, like a dollar, but that makes a you difference know, maybe, for some people. Maybe in the end, it's not really affecting things. In the end, you know what I mean? Because I can understand not. I mean, change, I wouldn't. I have yeah, think about it. Looked in the analytics. Do you really but, think that them like doing? more restrictive on password sharing um, would be truly a bad thing for business? Because if you think about it, in the end, I it mean, could I'm not saying it could it's a bad motivate. thing, but... I'm it, saying, like, do you, do you think it'd be a negative effect on their on business, like them getting business? Them may, cracking it could, down. It could go either way. I think, I think in the end, way. I think in the end it would be a positive thing. You know what I mean? I think that it really could um, motivate those people who... Who are just I'm not saying people are lazy or just don't that's what am I talking about? People aren't lazy. I'm just saying like I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm saying about. I think it would motivate more people to it get could. it themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like I it could go either way. I could see it working out in their favor, but then I could also see it kind of upsetting yeah. a lot of people as well. Yeah. 
So, I mean, I mean, they're the big business. They know what they're doing better than I do. But I can't remember specifically the, how the pricing goes, but I think there is, like, I think when you get the count, basically, is that you can get at least two different accounts with, like, sub-accounts within it. You know, I'm assuming, like, because you're, you're, you still, you're still connected through your parents, right, through your family, your Netflix? Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, same I don't know. Me. I don't really know how it works. Because I think, I think there is an upcharge, though, to have, like, sub-accounts. You know what I mean? To be able to have all, yeah. like, because I know you, you uh, not YouTube, what am I saying? <laughs> Netflix has a has an algorithm. I don't even know if it's necessarily the, the best algorithm because I've been getting a lot of recommendations that I don't care about at all. You know what I mean? That pop up in my thing. Oh, you like this? Check this out. Nope. I don't want to watch that. You know what I mean? But, I mean, in the end, it's definitely much more geared towards said person. Because I know my mom's just going to end up watching a bunch of crappy shows that nobody cares about. You know what? She's entitled to, like, whatever shows she wants to like, and you can't say anything about it. There you you go. You know the types of shows that she likes, Drake? Yes. How to Get Away with Murder. The Bachelor. These are all popular shows, and everyone has the right to their own opinion, and... Riley's mom, I hope you're listening to this, and I hope NCIS. you. NCIS. Uh, I hope I get some uh, brownie points for being a good friend. Thank you. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of cookie cutter shows. They're all formulaic. Yeah, same but they're thing popular. every episode. People like them. You don't have uh, to like no them. No tension, no stakes, no nothing. It's called opinions, Riley. Everyone every episode, has their own, the, okay? the detective group, they always get into a shootout with a bad guy, they win. They always get a murder. Sounds constantly. like every Marvel movie ever it. made. That's what I don't, it sounds Drake, like. I don't disagree with you that that most of the movies follow a pattern. That's true. But at least they have more tension than these shows. Well, to and you. You know what else she really likes? You want to guess? Not really. Hallmark movies. Now, a what's lot your, of people like those. You won't be on my side. You're not gonna be on my side about this. I no. I am on your side because I personally don't like them. But I would not. That is the most get mad at someone for liking stories them. I've ever seen. Yeah, I've never people seen something have with different no opinions. soul, no heart, <coughs> no anything than what I would see in a Hallmark movie. Man, they're just brutal. <sighs> Any other shows coming out? I think there was something. Oh, Not a, really. I Not that I mentioned know something of. here. I think there was something else. Let's take a look. Uh, do, 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 do. Movies, TV. Why can't I see upcoming shows? Have you seen the stuff that IMDb has, Drake? Is there? You can watch movies on there. Yeah. They, they're that? on it. Their stuff's honestly okay. Like sometimes I'll look up a movie and then I'll be like, uh, like on IMDb streaming or whatever, and it's it's all free, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Normally, wouldn't this be on like the home page for upcoming shows, upcoming releases of sh- episodes? But I don't see it. My app's kind of been a little buggy recently, well, so I'm using know, the, des- computer, the desktop but... version here. And I'm confused as to why. Nope, it's showing me the top TV shows of all time. I don't I don't want that. Nope, I don't want popular TV shows. <sighs> oh, well, I, I watched the new season of Peaky Blinders. Good, not great. I found that show very boring. That's not your type of show, Drake. That's a very, 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 very drama show that I know Drake Dino is not going to like. Oh God! Arrow's coming back on a it sounds awful. What else is coming back? Anything? I thought there was something else. Curb eventually. Oh, there's going to be a a, a Lovecraft yeah, show I that's going to that. come to HBO, which I think will be really cool. I, I think I think HBO is the exactly right place for that to be. You know what I mean? Like I this, this fit. problem on my app, I can't. Ooh. What are you trying to do? Scroll over to t- to TV shows. Click on rec- tap on recommendations there. See? Yeah, but usually you're able to move it like this. Oh, I've I've never had. I always swipe worry it like about that. that. It's, Personally, it's I've weird. never I've never had to worry about that. But well, thank you, Jake. 
Oh, and then also, bef- one of the last few things I'll mention, I know there's a, another show uh, eventually going to come to Amazon. My hope is sooner rather than later will be a Lord of the Rings series. You know, not a remake of the original story from Lord of the Rings, but content that w- is within the world of Middle Earth. And I'm hoping Drake a lot like aligns with the, the the lore or the the canon itself of the Lord of the Rings and slash Hobbit movies. You know what I mean? I'm sorry to break in, but I was looking at what's coming out this oh, weekend. No. I had no idea this was coming out. Didn't even know it was being is made. Is it that cop movie? No, the Gallows Act Two, the second Gallows movie. Do you remember the first the one? movie in the, the first the one was kind of scary the a little bit. Play? Yeah. I mean, it was a, just a jump scare right. fest, and, and it it's wasn't, about a, like a hanging or something. Yeah, and it wasn't very play. good. But it was kind of that movie was kind of scary. They're making a second one, and that's horrible reviews. But I, I, li- I, had, I had not heard anything. Was there any other movies coming out? Let's yeah, let's, let's I mean, wrap that, it up here. What else? That stupid movie. There's a um, weird cop movie. That coming horror out. movie countdown, where it counts down to your death. Uh, which one's that? Countdown. Oh yeah, I saw. I saw some like. Uh, some images of it. So, uh, Are they trying to make it look really creepy? But other than that, literally nothing. Uh, oh, oh, it's, yeah, it's called Black and Blue. That Big weekend next weekend, though. We got Motherless, kill, Brooklyn, and Terminator movie. Well, Terminator movie for all the fools who want to go see that. If you do want to see it, just think about it for a second before you watch it. It's a movie that you've seen a gabillion times, literally... Same characters, the same antagonist, the same anything and everything is going to be in that movie. I beg you, do not go see it. It does not look good. It doesn't look interesting. Uh, please spare yourself. And then The Irishman will be out on Netflix in a couple of weeks. And uh, that uh, Harriet Tubman movie as well. And then, I heard people really like The Irishman. I'm sure it's good. But I feel like people just see that it's Martin, of and course. then they kind of just of assume. Yes, yeah, and people that are like we, big we know fans, this always happens. This people always that happens. are big fans will just automatically yes. kind of give it more. You do know, slack. and also studios do pay some critics to uh, give movies better scores. That's why sometimes for movies you'll see really great reviews before they are actually released, like with Last Jedi, how the movie. Oh my God! It is astounding reviews by everybody. Everybody loves it. And then people see it, and they're like, what did I just watch? All right, you know, maybe well, one day I could have a whole episode before uh, last or no, before Rise of Skywalker comes out where I complain about everything yeah, wrong. Well, you'll be doing that show so long. Well. I'm not coming in that day. If that's no, you'll case. be here. No, you just I'm not nothing. coming in. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in again, listening. This was Drake. And Riley. And you were listening to the Watchmen Radio Hour. We'll see you next week. Just a reminder, you're listening to 91.7 The Edge, Whitewater, WSUW. Good night, folks. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to some Watchmen. See you later.